take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. A scar is made up of connective tissue, gristle-like fibers deposited in the skin by the fibroblasts to hold the wound closed. With keloids, the fibroblasts continue to multiply even after the wound is filled in. Thus keloids project above the surface of the skin and form large mounds of scar tissue. Make your mark, take our lead. Onion. Cut a small onion into small pieces. A red, white, or yellow is fine to use. Squeeze out the juice by compressing it with a clean cloth. Apply the juice to the keloid area and let it sit until dry. Rinse. Apply three to four times per day until you see your desired results. Let's help you make your mark. There's no evidence to support using tea tree oil on existing scars, whether they're acne scars, keloids, or hypertrophic scars. In addition, scars are hard to remove, even with professional laser treatments. Take our lead. As with all injections, steroid injections for the treatment of keloids can be painful, especially if the keloid is very thick. Usually, local anesthetic is applied to ease the discomfort. If the patient is extra sensitive to injections, a topical numbing medication may be used in addition to the local anesthetic. Make your mark, take our lead. Imiquimod 5% Cream, Aldera, an immune response modifier that enhances healing, has also been used to help prevent keloid recurrence after surgical excision. The cream is applied on alternate nights for 8 weeks after surgery. Let's help you make your mark. Home Remedies Crush 3-4 to four aspirin tablets. Mix them with enough water to form a paste. Apply them to the keloid or wound site. Let it sit for an hour or two, then rinse. Repeat once every day until desired results are achieved. Make your mark! take our lead with the help of a medical professional you can have it safely removed remember this is not a pimple so please don't pop it like one since it's not actually acne there's nothing to squeeze out of the bump in fact doing so could potentially cause an infection which is much worse than some overgrown scar tissue Make your mark, take our lead. Keloids treatment, corticosteroid shots. The medicine in these shots helps shrink the scar. Freezing the scar, called cryotherapy, this can be used to reduce the hardness and size of the keloid. Wearing silicone sheets or gel over the scar, this can help flatten the keloid. Laser therapy, surgical removal, pressure treatment, Take our lead. Keloids may continue to grow slowly for weeks, months or years. They eventually stop growing but do not disappear on their own. Once a keloid develops, it is permanent unless removed or treated successfully. It is common for keloids that have been removed or treated to return. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.